close your eyes, focus on your breath, and be content to be right here. This is a good place to be right now, right with your breath coming in, going out. The situation around you is conducive to the practice, not a lot of traffic noise, things are quiet, you don't have any responsibilities right now. It's a good place to be. This principle of contentment is important. If you can be content with your surroundings, then you can focus your energy on where it needs to be focused, which is developing the mind. Because if we spend too much time saying, well, I want this to be like that, and I want that to be like this, and we're constantly tied down to our belongings. Not enough food, not enough clothing, not enough shelter, not enough medicine, not enough whatever. And it keeps expanding, expanding. Think of all the stuff people have. And how much of it do you really need? How much do, really serves a purpose? And the time spent in getting that stuff could have, been, could have been spent a lot more wisely, a lot more beneficially in training the mind. The energy that went into getting that stuff could be devoted to training the mind. At the same time, if you're dependent on a lot of things being just so outside, then the mind gets very weak. It's like a friend I had one time who lives over in Laguna who's used to a range of temperatures between 70 and 75. And as soon as he had to leave that and go out to a place where it was hotter and colder, he said, Oh my gosh, I can't stay, take this. I have to run, go running back. That means the mind has been weakened because it's used to having everything perfect around it. But if you can learn how to live with imperfect surroundings, so this is not just imperfect things, but you know, we're imperfect people. We're surrounded by people who have mouths who can say all kinds of things. In a society in which all kinds of things are happening, there are people out there who actually want war. Okay, so what are you going to do in a society like this? You have to learn how to be content with what you've got, so you can focus on the real thing. You can learn to depend on is by developing good, skillful qualities in your mind. This is why contentment is one of the things that creates a, a refuge for you. Because if you're content with what you've got, you can devote your energies to the mind. You can strengthen the mind inside with your conviction that what you do is important. So you better do it well. It's not your things that are important, it's your actions that are important. That's an important principle to keep in mind all the time. Otherwise your goodness depends on things outside being just so. And they're not always going to be just so. Things change. What you want to do, though, is develop qualities of mind that are okay, no matter how things change outside. Things get better, you don't get carried away. Things get worse, you don't get upset. They get better again, you don't get carried away again. You learn how to keep the mind on an even keel. Learn how, learn how to depend on your own inner resources. Strengthen your inner resources. This is one of the reasons why the, the Buddha has the monks go off and live in very simple surroundings. Because if your happiness depends on things outside, you get kind of lazy. But if you're not getting that much happiness from outside, you've got to learn how to look for happiness inside. So look here inside. Learn how to be content with what you got outside so that you can find true happiness inside. And that way you can really learn how to depend on yourself.